Perfect. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I am Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist, here to break down lyrics to some awesome music. And today we get to honor a request. Somebody in our 100K live stream, Kiki, won a free request by answering a question correctly the quickest. And that's what we love about our live streams, Discord, other places where we get to give away requests. You jump straight to the front of the line and your song goes up very quickly. So Kiki, thanks so much for being in the live stream. Thanks for answering the question correctly and quickly. And here you go. You have chosen Kill Station, my final breath. Never heard them before. Here we go, a whole new genre of music, maybe for me, maybe it's not a new genre, but I do have the lyrics here in front of me so that I can see them because sometimes I never know what's coming at me. But thank you everybody for being a part of Reaction Therapy. It's been awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't thank you enough for being here, for subscribing. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button now because you won't regret that choice at all. Uh, we have our new Patreon page up. You need to go check that out right after this video. The link is in the description. Or you can go to patreon.com slash reaction therapy and see all the different tiers we have of subscription levels there for you to choose one. Even one that's specifically for a Juice World lovers. And it's as low as $4 a month. And if you don't even like that, there's free stuff out there too. For the general public, you can watch, check out, and see what you think about the reaction reaction therapy family on Patreon. I was trying to get all of that out together. So long story short, we're having a blast and we're grateful for you. Come to Discord, chat with us sometime. It's there all the time. And without further ado, Kiki, let's get into this. It is Kill Station, my final breath. So it is creeping me out. I'll be straight up with you on that right away. I'm not really sure about this and all the visuals that go on with this video and all the blood and all the... It's like a person with the head wrapped. I don't know. I'm going to just reserve judgment till I hear all of this music and read all these lyrics. that something how they use the figures you know it's like the old barbie and ken figures or something with the heads wrapped the blood is there they're walking around but they're using them as the people in this video but don't wait for me i'm not gonna save you I'm scared they're gonna turn this, it looks like a light bulb on with electricity, it's gonna electrocute everything. I just don't know what's happening here. Uh, just the way I am, I won't fall in love with you again. This is, man, this sounds like, don't count on me, you've lost me, I am done, it is over. I don't know if there's heartbreak, I don't know if there's rejection, I don't know if there's deceit. I, look, something bad's gone down here. There's not a light bulb or anything in there, just this thing that they're having it hold on to, but I really like that beat that dropped there. The way it just started picking up a little bit. That was pretty cool. 
you know, but it's somebody saying, I'm not gonna hold your hand. I am not, look, I planned on this, which is sad, right? That you planned on the breakup and that I was gonna be left and rejected. And sometimes that's a self-fulfilling prophecy where it's like you set it up for yourself. They're gonna leave you, they're gonna reject you. And you know what? You're like, you're done. You're toast at that point. But sometimes it actually does happen and you get scared, worried, nervous, or the person's not totally bought in and you end up getting left. But holding on to what I need, man, you've broken me eternally. That's like you have done the deed. You've done the worst thing you could possibly do. Yeah, I definitely don't like that. You know, you know how much... Uh, I hope you like to watch me bleed. That tells me self-harming is coming, and that kind of scares me. I don't have much love. Oh, you help me make a Dude, this is like really complex. Like there are a lot of pieces to this and I almost guarantee somebody who knows Kill Station, like Kiki, is gonna understand everything that's behind this and what the purpose of this song is because I haven't researched it to try to see what it's all about. I just wanted to hear it, hear the music, hear the lyrics and put it all together. But it sounds like a lot of despair, a lot of hopelessness. This person is laying on the ground at this point. All oh, was all up in that wire thing. And the blood is everywhere. It just keeps dripping and taking my final breath. Like just, I'm finished. It's over. I don't want it anymore. Of course, I'm going to tell you I don't like that. I don't want that because life can be lived, can be done well, and you can get something out of it. It's doable. Just remember that. If you get help and if you hear have somebody who's who's good and sane and, and well, good thinking, they can help you with that. But I know how desperate life can feel sometimes, especially after a breakup. A lot of switch ups. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is almost doing everything in reverse. Like, you know, the worst was in the beginning and then it's undoing it, but I could be completely off with that. But it is, it is. I'm clinging on, ready to take my last breath. It's all over, can't count on you, not gonna trust you, don't want you around. And, but then kind of, can you help me? So that, that was interesting. What I need, you I need so much help with this and I cannot wait to see what any of y'all say in the comments about what is the story between these two because that looks like a relationship. All their heads are bandaged up, the eyeballs are bleeding, there is blood dripping everywhere, they're together, they're apart, ready to do each other in, wrapped up in that cage, everything. <laughs> There it is, Kill Station, my final breath. And that was a first for me for sure. 
the sound up, down, all around. I really did like that beat when it was kicking in and moving through. And it was, it was pretty straightforward with what it was saying. Kiki, you must know this music. I'm so glad you got the chance to request it because that's kind of an example of something that probably never right would have gotten through with a 5,000 song Google Doc that we have. But I am so glad people get the chance to put their own request in to be able to hear music. I can't totally understand it. And I think I might appreciate it more if I understood what that story is behind the scenes of what those lyrics are. So I can't wait to hear what you say. Kiki, let me know. Everybody else, let me know. If you know Kill Station, tell me what's up. I would love to, love to see what the real story is behind that. Remember, this isn't real therapy. It's just Tom breaking down lyrics to music. If you want real help, go to the link in our bio, link in our description. Get help there. There's resources there. You deserve help. Everybody does. Don't forget to join us on Discord. And if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. And then hop over to Patreon. Check it out. See what's there. Try it out. If you don't like it, you can stop. But if you do like it, you can stay. And it has tons of other genres, tons of other artists, songs, all kinds like a buffet over there. So good. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And I can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy.